Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about passive income or semi-passive income ideas that can make you 100 to $300 a day or more. Now, true passive income, where you're able to live off of income that doesn't require you to do any work, is, in my opinion, not attainable for most people. And the reason why that is, is because it requires a ton of money upfront and invested to make it worthwhile. So, for example, let's say that you wanted to make six figures or more every single year from stocks passively. That's one of the most popular ways to make passive income is through stocks and investing. Well, in order to do that, you would need three and a half to $5 million invested to make 100 to 200K per year in dividends passively. So unless you have three and a half to $5 million just sitting around or invested into stocks or funds, I think that these ideas that I'm gonna show you in this video are gonna be a lot more attainable for you. So first off, let's define semi-passive income. What is it? Well, my definition is, it's an income stream that takes some work to get up and going and might take some maintenance work where you're managing it on an ongoing basis. But once you get it up and running, you're able to make money from it while you're sleeping. So it isn't truly passive income where you don't have to do anything at all and you still get paid. It does require some work to get up and running, but it can make you money while you're sleeping once it is up and running. So right now I have five semi-passive income sources that make me right around $500 per day, even when I'm sleeping or taking a vacation or not working. And I wanna share these semi-passive income ideas with you to give you some ideas. And maybe if you wanna just copy what I'm doing, you can do the same exact thing for yourself. So before we begin, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates whenever I release a new video. And doing that lets me know that you're enjoying the content, also shows it to other people who could benefit. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And let's dive into these semi-passive income sources that can make you 100 to $300 a day or more right now. So the first semi-passive income stream is tiny digital products. Tiny digital products, the way that I define it, are any digital products under $100. So I have products like email courses or email challenges, ebooks, template packs, and lean tools using softwares like Google Sheets. And a few of mine that are active right now are the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge. It's a seven day email challenge that shows you how to write an email that sells. I have two ebooks. One is called Info Product Empire and the other is called Six Figure Drop Servicing. And I also have some internal templates that I share for when I was running my lead gen agency called the Freedom Vault. Now I love these tiny digital products because they're pretty easy and quick to make. And it really helps to build the relationship with my customers and my audience. And what that relationship does is if someone likes one of these tiny digital products that are anywhere from five to a hundred bucks and they want more help, they're gonna be a lot more likely since they're already a customer to buy my medium or higher ticket offerings or even my done for you service in some cases. So for example, my super fast sales email challenge, it took me two days to create. It's brought in over six figures in sales and has helped me to fill my higher ticket course my coaching and my done for you service. So the way that I look at it is I, these tiny digital products are like appetizers, right? It gets people hungry for my main courses, my higher ticket service and program and coaching and courses that I have. So that's the first semi-passive income stream is tiny digital products. The second stream is tiny online courses. So these are courses that are in the hundred to $500 range and they're self-paced, meaning there's no coaching component or support needed from me. So I don't have like a private group. I don't do ongoing coaching calls. I don't do support calls or anything like that. If you have a technical issue, I help you with that. But I don't do any kind of ongoing coaching other than the course that I'm selling. So a few that I have right now is the Super Fast Sequences, which is an email course. It's a 14 day email course. The second one is the Ultimate Client Acquisition Playbook, which is a video course. And then I also have something called the Info Product Launch Files, which is also a video course. And these are all within the $200 to $300 range. So these require no coaching from me. Everything that you need is in the course in terms of video training or email training or templates that you need. It's all included in the course. And these are usually upsells to my tiny digital products. So say somebody bought my six-figure drop servicing ebook, the next step up could be this tiny online course called my Ultimate Client Acquisition Playbook, which teaches you how to get clients in the quickest way possible. So a lot of the people who buy these products, these tiny online courses, come from the tiny digital products and they buy this as an upsell if they want more help or more support and guidance through the process on getting a certain result. So that's number two, tiny online courses. Number three is YouTube AdSense revenue. So YouTube pays me for any ads that they place on my videos. And the amount of YouTube varies on, on certain different factors. So things like views or watch time or your niche or the amount of subscribers you have, I think these things all affect how much YouTube pays me in terms of the advertisers and ads they place on my videos. So right now I make around 800 to $900 a month in AdSense revenue, which is actually pretty high 
with how small my channel is. So I have 16, close to 17,000 subscribers and 800 to $900 a month is actually on the high end. And that's because most of my content's financial or money making related. So because my content is money related, it attracts a lot of financial or money related advertisers. And those companies usually pay more for advertising because they're money related, financial related. So I think that's why I might have more revenue for the amount of views and subscribers I have than someone who might have 10X me, but has content around humor or pranks or jokes, something that doesn't pay out as much. Now, here's the thing with YouTube. I don't consider this a passive income source at all. It takes a lot of time. It's, it's kind of like a second job to create and edit and schedule videos and post them. So it takes a lot of time and energy to run a YouTube channel. But the cool thing is I have videos from over a year ago, like my first video on my channel, which I think has the most amount of views right now, it's still making me money every day, week, and month, even though I'm not really doing anything with it now. So I guess in that sense, it's semi-passive because I created the video once, I posted it up, and I can earn from that video for as long as people keep viewing it. And even if I stopped making videos right now, I'd still be earning money on all the videos that I already created that are live on my channel currently. So that's number three, YouTube AdSense revenue. Number four is affiliate marketing. So I make around $2,000 or so a month from affiliate marketing. And this is just recommending products that I already use. Now, most of the 2K per month comes from recurring software commissions. So I'll recommend software that I use for my business like ClickFunnels or ActiveCampaign or a few lead generation softwares that I use. I recommend it to my audience. And if they purchase through my link, I get an ongoing commission for as long as they are a member. The other affiliate commissions that I that don't come from software come from things like my office products that I recommend or books or other courses from other people that I enjoy and recommend to my audience. All I'm doing is recommending products that I already use and love. And I love affiliate marketing. It's great because it doesn't really take too much work other than saying, hey, I use this product, it's good. If you buy through my link, it helps me out, but it doesn't cost anything for you. This is just the product that I use for X, Y, and Z, whatever the purpose is. If someone buys through my link, I get paid passively on an ongoing basis from that. Now, in my opinion, affiliate marketing, a lot of people look at it like a beginner model. It's difficult to get this going without an audience. So the only reason I'm able to get people to buy through my links is because they trust me because they're on my email list or they follow me on social media and they see my content. So they wanna know what softwares I'm using, what products I'm using, what books I'm reading, what courses I'm taking, and they're buying through my link because they trust my recommendation. So I think if you have an audience, affiliate marketing is an amazing way to make extra income or semi-passive income. But if you don't have an audience, I recommend building up an audience first. And then once you have one, going and recommending products and getting affiliate commissions after that. So that's number four, affiliate marketing. Now the fifth stream is dividends that I get from stocks and index and mutual funds. So this is the only true passive income source on this list but it still takes some work on my part. I have to play around with the percentages. I have to pick the stock sometimes, I have to pick the funds. So it is true passive income in the sense that the dividends that I get paid out from it, it doesn't take me any work or anything required from me, but the stocks that I'm picking and the funds that I'm picking still require some thinking and some work to do. And I also need to make money to fund those stocks and fund those funds. So the way that this works is every month I have money that goes from my business account to my personal account. And then twice a month, I have it set up so it automatically takes money from my personal account and puts it into certain stocks or funds that I pick automatically. And every month I'm paid out dividends from these companies or from these stocks and funds and it goes into my account and I have it set to reinvest in those stocks and in those funds again. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it grows long term. I look at this as a long term investment and I want it to continue growing through compound interest. I don't want to be taking out the earnings. I want it to grow over time. And I'm looking at this as more of like a 30 to 40 year investment strategy. So yes, this is an income stream. There is dividend payments coming through every month, but it goes right back into the stocks or funds that I pick so that it continues to grow and it uses compound interest to continue growing and growing over a long period of time. So that was the fifth and final stream stocks index funds and mutual funds that pay out dividends. I, I keep it in the account so it continues to grow over time. This is my long-term investment here. So those are my five semi-passive income sources that make right around $500 a day, even while I'm sleeping or vacationing. It's always making me money. And I hope this gave you some ideas on how to set up your own semi-passive income stream so that you can make money while you're sleeping as well. So these semi-passive income streams take some time and some work to get the ball rolling. But once it is rolling and once it is going, 
it can start to make you money even without you putting in the work. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And also, if you wanna learn how I'm using email to fund and make money from these passive income sources and get them going, go to emailrainmaker.com. It's gonna take you to my free Facebook group where I talk more about how I use email to make money from all these semi-passive income sources. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.